guest who is from Tennessee. She's an amazing singer, performer, and the voice finalist. And now she's here to help other singer-songwriters succeed. Please welcome Wendy Moten. We are so happy to have you. Thank you for having me Thank today. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank okay, you. your background is incredible. Yes. Oh so God. for those who might not know, please share about your phenomenal backstory. Well, I've been in the music business 35 years. I, my first record deal came out in the 90s during the Whitney Houston Mariah Carey era. Oh. So then I survived all that, became a big touring background singer because that ended for Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Vince Gill, Julio wow. Iglesias duet partner for 15 years. And then COVID shut everything down and I was uh, like, how am I gonna, what am I gonna do when everything opens back up? So I said I needed some television and decided to, <laughs> to do go. the voice to make this, you know, really stick. So I was like, I gotta get the courage to try to do something like that because, you know, I've been in it so long and, mm. uh, but it was one of the best things I decided to do. I, I love that challenge of, you know, being on television every week. Yeah. It's interesting okay. though, because someone like you, who's been a performer yeah. for 30 plus years, yes. even you were challenged. It, it took you out of your comfort zone yes. to go on The Voice. Absolutely. That's amazing. I was scared. I was just told myself, you know, just leave your ego at the house, but um, just concentrate on the week challenge and I'll see how far I can go. I love it. I love it. But yeah, like you said, I want to help others now. Yeah. There's this song contest we got, a partnership with Viva Collect. Um, it's also with uh, in, Inside Blackbird Recording mm -hmm. Studios and Shiner's Beer. And we're encouraging all songwriters, we got to the end of the month, to send their songs in. And Martina McBride and I will critique, not critique in a bad way, but just give them some insight on the song. And the song that's chosen, they win prizes. Absolutely. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a contest like none other that <laughs> I've heard of. Right. Where songwriters get to be heard by the legends. So yes. incredible. What an opportunity. And you get to win money too. The grant a thousand dollars. You win a thousand dollars, you get a Leslie a Les Paul, sorry. A <gasps> Les Paul electric guitar. <laughs> and you okay. get us uh, you get some uh, they get some 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 uh, what do you call it? Some things swag. that people swag. Yes. Thank you. Some I should know that swag. I sleep in swag all the time. I should know. But yes, they get swag. They win a thousand dollars, and they get a chance to get a Les Paul electric guitar. And it's trying to get to bring the community together too. Right. You know. Right. I mean, right. who can say that they've written a song that got reviewed by Martina McBride, Wendy, mm -hmm. uh, Paul Worley? Right. I mean, Worley, there's an, right. there's amazing, amazing talent that's yes. going to be hearing you, these songs. Yes. yes. Exactly. Wow. So, what would you like to see? or hear from the contestants, any tips? Um, I would say just something from your heart, something, you know, great mm -hmm. messaging that, you know, people mm -hmm. got different ways of doing it. Yeah. You can either write something that, you know, melodically means something to you, or it's about the beat, you know, it could be mm -hmm. Billy Eilish and, you know, it's, it, it could be anything, yeah. just yeah. something you want to submit that you want to get some uh, advice on oh. to help fine tune. I love that. Now, you know, something I've learned more recently being here in Music City is how how many hands go into a song that actually makes it. Can you, for those who don't know, like I didn't, talk a little bit about all the different steps? Absolutely. Well, if you're not a songwriter, like I'm not that much of a songwriter, you have to go find songs. Paul Worley, who found Lady A and, and Dixie Chicks and produced some of the biggest Martina McBride hits. Um, he has sources that have songs and he writes himself. So either you're going to write the song or you get songs from other people and then you start the demo process mm. of just figuring out a key, figuring out, you know, uh, how you want it to sound. Do you want rhythm? Do you want it to be fast or slow? And, you know, if you're writing songs like these people are, they're going to submit songs, they kind of have an idea right. of what it sound like or what, it, what they want it to sound like. So writing the song is the first step. Yeah. And then demo the song is the second step. And then you try to release it to the world after that. Could you imagine if you had this opportunity yourself when you first started mm -hmm. in the music industry? So, so let's say someone like you, you're going in, what questions do you ask? Oh my gosh, I always ask, you know, first of all, it's, you're not really asking any question, you're listening. Mm. So I may listen to, like Paul Worley is producing me right now, and he would bring over 20 songs. 
And then you just try to find that one that you connect with, that one that you remember, that melody that really moves you. And then that's the one that you kind of keep and you just keep narrowing it down. Yes. Ooh, listen. Absolutely. Listen. I love that. We're all taking that down <laughs> yeah. right now. We're taking notes. Thank you, you are so, so lovely, much. Wendy. Thank you thank so much. Thank you for joining thank us. Yes. Thank you for having me. Yes, Absolutely. thank you. Make sure to check out and participate in their Shiner Song Contest. Visit Viva Collect Challenge Contest at VivaCollect.com.